God. We're what? back. <laughs> We're back after Nam first video. My God. I still have jet lagged a bit. It's 2020, baby. Mm. Uh, Pete and I oh, and a whole happened. host of Anderton's people and affiliated people went to the Nam show, destroyed ourselves for a week. Came back, jet lag ruined. Thought we'd give you guys a week off of watching anything. Your voice is still a little bit sore. A <laughs> little bit. A little bit hoarse. Um, <laughs> and now we're back in the saddle. Um, <laughs> hey. Back in the like saddle the again. Uh, that great Aerosmith tune. <laughs> Pete. Yes, man. Tell me well, what on earth it is. I know. Well, back in 1979 to 1982, Fender made these guitars. So just an era there where, I don't know what was going on in well, the 70s uh, with Fender. Even late 70s. So despite Anderton's child labour policy at the time, <laughs> I was not working there. Uh, that was later. So, and I don't rem I mean, that's probably why I don't remember these, because it, it was before my time. I remember but, these. Uh, you really? Yeah. No, I don't, I don't think maybe at the time, because I wouldn't have been more than like two. But I, I remember yeah. them being around. I remember them, people playing them. I remember seeing them in shops and going, what is that? And then we go, and everyone were going, oh, they're not great. I mean, 79 was the emergence of the whole Charvel, Schecter, yes. ESP, you know, this whole idea of, right, electric guitar music is going to another level now. We're going from like rock to metal. Keyboard came out then. There was a lot of did that stuff yeah, then. I think it's, it I to think it's more. And it's more like long hair stuff. And yeah, you, the you, rock things. And you, you're talking about virtuoso guitar players, the Van Halens of this world. Yes, taking the whole guitar to another level. Next level. And I think people are looking at the Fender Strat, going, "That is a great guitar, but it's probably not." Apart from Ingvi, of course. Was he? He was later, though, wasn't was he? he? Was he? I don't know. Do, but hey. He, uh, hey. Excuse me. If yeah, he, if, I think because, he was later. But he certainly still plays it. Um, and I don't, I guess then, this is a total guess, that, you know, Fender's marketing department, which at the time would have been owned by CBS, and, and I, I'm not convinced it was necessarily the greatest team that Fender <laughs> has ever put together on this planet. <laughs> Although I've just bought a 79 Strat, so hey, hey. that's pretty cool. Um, I guess they've gone, you know what? We need to, like, do something. Do something mm. and, and maybe making the body a little smaller, maybe making the body shape a bit more symmetrical. You'll you'll be looking at this going, it's it is a this the, the horns are not I got a strap here. Is, so here's a question for me. the dinky, do you know the um, the, the Jackson Dinky. When did that come out? Later. Okay. Later. Because that's got a tight slightly smaller body, has it not? So a dinky is a is not a, a, donkey, a dinky. A dinky is a seven eighths seven eighths body <laughs> yeah so it's so slightly like, smaller like just over 10 percent less but anyway look there's a traditional strap there's the lead so you can see what i'm talking about the the cutaways are a little bit more symmetrical on the lead uh the body is a little smaller smaller horns. um and yet the headstock and the neck and the scale length all feels pretty much 25 the same. and a half inch scale length these have got pal ferro um hard tail Yep. On here, strung through body, hard tail. So a bit like a, a, a Telecaster, you would say. And still, oh, still I, a big I mean, lumpy heel joint. You know, I, don't, I think yes, this is I like before that. the time anyone had worked out that, you know, maybe guitar players could whittle a bit faster if you shimmied some of this oh, away. What, what, that was quite a bit later, in fairness. You know, in, in yeah, the, I mean, just the, there's there's something in, in in me that says wood, more wood against more wood is better. Perhaps not, I'm talking. I'm talking. Uh, I'm sure this kind of wood. Some people would agree, and some. I mean, I, I look. Hey, I'm taking my jingly jangly <laughs> thing off because I'm. I'm very conscious of the fact that, despite the fact that my, um, it's got sentimental value. It's very annoying <laughs> in the YouTube video. Around. So let's let's talk about these two. So there's two versions. There's the lead two. What happened the to the lead have? one? Well, that was Fender. probably the first one that came out, wasn't it? Called I don't know. Lead Do you think one? maybe the first it just had one, one, one pickup? Well, there was one with one pickup. Maybe that was a lead yeah. one. So well, yeah. I don't know if they do that, but there lead was a two, lead one. Lead three. Yeah. And this one here has got two humbuggers on it. So they're from the player series. They're the two humbugging two pickups. Um, it's got a clever three-way selector switch here. And then it's got one a switch here, which is kind of strange because you, you split. We were like trying to break it out. So if you're on the front, I'm just going to explain it before I play it. If you're on the neck pickup, this needs to be in the middle position. There's for it three, to be a it's got three for yeah. it to be neutral. Hum, well, like a humbucker. Yeah. And you put it up, and then it splits. But if you if you put it down, it doesn't do anything because that that's, that's reserved for this pickup. 
there's like what? yeah but anyway um, it's it's uh you'll work it out if you've got one tone volume if you've never if you're not going to get the chance to go and play a lead series maybe your local music store doesn't shop them or you want to buy online or whatever like that if you've played a normal player series guitar so that so the range that came out in yeah. 2018 i think yeah and it's like the the, the midline mexican range yeah that's the range that this fits into. So the neck, the build quality, the pickups, they're all player series, all right? So it feels like, if you close your eyes, familiar. it just feels like a strap. Yeah. Boom. But what we do right have here are the 70s era machine heads. Got the four bolt neck joint. Don't know if that's original. You know, a lot of strats at that time would have been three bolt. Mm -hmm. uh, and as I said, this this much lighter. It's very light. Um, it's super much light. more compact. Uh, so yeah, Pete, we'll, we'll hear some sounds. Yeah. I've got the two single coil pickup one. Same idea of a three-way toggle to, to select which one I want to hear. And then this, I'm, I think what this uh, pickup here, sorry, what this second selector is doing is reversing the phase. phase of the neck pickup. So you get this, on the neck pickup itself by reversing the phase, you get this audible sense that it sounds a tiny bit different, but not really better or worse or different, just like different. Mm. And then when you go to the middle position, it completely throws the way in which the two pickups react. So that sounds very different. And then on the bridge, it doesn't do anything basically. So because it's not affecting <laughs> that pickup at all on its own. But we'll let's let's yeah. hear some so tones. Let's just see. I'll just demonstrate this first. Humbugger. Split. So in the middle is a humbugger. Middle it is. That's. So the middle position is both of these pickups, both but in humbuggers. And if I then want to split this one, I push it down. So I've got a humbugger and then a split bridge. So a yeah. br split bridge. If I go up, I'll split this one, but not this one. And then I can go in the middle again. It's both, and then neck, a bridge, sorry, and split. So there's so many tones. A split. Right split and then not split. Right, look at my guitar. Yeah. Okay, forget the try to forget the scratch plate, everything just look at my guitar body shape, right? Yeah. And tell me which guitar maker has gone, I'm gonna make my guitars that shape. Is this a trick question? No, I've just done it looking at yours. I'm looking at yours going, I know what body shape that is. I'm lost, what, what? Tell it's, me. It's PRS. Look, PRS Custom. That's the body shape. Oh, yeah. Oh, if you did a little, if you, yeah. Uh, oh, we don't have one of those in here. Oh, we. An old one? Well, it's kind of, it's a bit more rounded down. Maybe not. Do we think that that's well? You answer that out then. In is uh, that where Mr. Smith has got his inspiration for his body shape from? Hmm. Perhaps. You tell us. Anyway, let's get some uh, some tones with a bit of dirt on. Oh. And here's the Durple, ladies and gentlemen. Forty-five quid. <laughs> With a split, so the hamburger split. So many combinations, I can't handle it. <laughs> Tell you, it's really easy to play. What's just um, come on foot back humbucker with distortion. <laughs> that guitar to sound good with distortion the oh. lead two on the other hand with its two single coil pickups i 
Notch. It's not really a shredder, so... Not, you you not that of... you'd think, is it? Let's so. go through our settings on here. So one neck pickup, full fat. That sounds two, good, Two man. together, sounds stratty. weird in the sense you'd knit on a strat you wouldn't have the two pickups this far apart they'd be much closer maybe more telecastery i'm not I mean, if you if you stock a, a set of dp uh, 51s in there maybe i, I, I don't wonder know. you could get the scrap because you get them for scrap fit. Fit. It's, and you just get a scrap place and cut it out uh bridge pickup uh, very bright <laughs> But not powerful, you know, almost... Yeah, same as this one. As it's, soon as you split it, it the level yeah, drops. drops. And then this phase thing, so if I go back to the neck pickup... You could, it's probably easier to hear when I actually... If I do a chord and then switch it whilst the chord's ringing, but... See, Does it split the middle? Or no, it's not splitting it. It's changing, it's changing the, way, the direction around. in which it's yeah. uh, wired. So, there's something that happens, but it's difficult to describe what it is. Where it's really obvious is on the two pickups together. So that reminds me almost of like a, um, like a Jaguar kind of sound where you start flipping with hey. the different controls on, yeah. on there. You know? So very bright and jangly. And then on the, if I just have this pickup, I don't believe this switch does anything. Because all it's doing- click on you, the yeah, other one. Yeah, because all it's doing is changing the wiring of this pickup. So yeah. this, anyway, so let's go- Get some gain on there, man. I was using a Plimsoll, which is full tones kind of Marshall in a box kind of. <laughs> Neck, that's the bridge pickup, the, the neck pickup. That sounds great, man. Yeah, both together. So it's very much an overdriven strat sound. So again, think of like classic rock players who stayed on a strat during that period. So, you know. Not that necessarily my playing was like that, but but think of like a Richie Blackmore yeah. or um, I don't know, Dave Gilmore or something like that. David yeah. Gilmore, uh, but you know David. guys that guys that tended to stick with single coils rather than migrating over to humbuckers. Uh, I, I, I was kind of lumping two pedals together. Oh, oh that's a lot of gain. This that's how you know it's single coil. <laughs> <laughs> Just to try to like go it. back to uh, just the plim sole and just do the front pickup to so the neck pickup, not with anything else on. I just want to hear that straddy tone. <laughs> Can I then split this one? Yeah. Different amps. <laughs> But I think I don't think when you split a humbucker rather than a single coil, it loses. I think yeah, the, yeah. the base end that the single coil has. Exactly. So you dr it drops the output, so it doesn't drive as much, but it doesn't sound as fat. Let's just try. Uh, there are one or two guitar manufacturers making some progress with this idea of having a humbucker that splits into yeah, the, the PRS one, P yeah, and even on the American Fender Ultra, the double tap thing. But I think normally speaking, on more affordable guitars. If you like single coil sounds, Get go single for single coil. coils. And if yeah. you like humbuckers, go for humbuckers. Yeah. It sounds obvious, but yeah. Um, but you get an, it's, you get kind of a, a you, I guess you get a flavour. Maybe with a bit less gain, I think. 
It's kind of there. Yeah. Well, look. So, I like these men. On screen now are the colours that these are going to come available in. And you've got, you've got a mix of guitars, some with uh, the maple fretboards like I've got, some with the Pal Ferro fretboards like Pete's got. But mm -hmm. let's be honest, and now that you've seen, is there six guitars? Maybe it's six different colours in the uh, range? Yeah, I think like there's that. six. But you've seen them, but let's be honest with you, these are the two best, right? Absolutely. These Purple, are the colours. These are the green. These two colours are the winner colours. This, because I think it sums up the start of what was a magical period of, of kind of, you know, guitar rock in the 80s. Yeah. And this, but just because this. Just you know, because it's because a great colour. Because purple is the greatest colour uh, that we've ever invented for the guitar. <laughs> I, say, I say we, you know, it's not really we. Um, but accidentally went on a guitar once. Consequently, because of that, Andertons on the green and the purple one have ordered loads. Uh, so what you should find is when these are brand new, Maybe Andertons will have one when perhaps no one else will. I'm just saying. Just saying. Just saying. So, Lee, price-wise, what are we looking at here? These are very much in line with the rest of the player series. So one of these will cost you 549 English pounds. Um, don't know what hey, that's going to be worth two... after, after Brexit. Could be anything from it's probably gonna 17 be... <laughs> euros to half a million euros. I mean, who knows? <laughs> Let's see how it goes. That's tonight, uh, by the it way. It is tonight. But, yeah, yeah, you'll be watching this next week. Yeah. So and presumably actually we will, we won't. We haven't eaten for a week now, and uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we, it's the whole thing. Is what the, are the, the odds that it's exactly the same? Civil war and people are shooting each other, and but, like, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, and everybody. And we can still send Let's these just, guitars out. What's the motto for the world? Just be, be nice. Just be nice. It's over our door. This just, says, just be, be nice. nice. And it also says, or the don't great be a tone dick. comes great responsibility." So there you go.